That's tape on it. Hey, son. What do you think of the hat? It's a hat. Well, do you think they'll sell? As long as you don't wear one. Or do you like this one better? Hold on, let me open this. What is that? I don't know, it's addressed to me, Richard Harrison. Well, there's another Richard Harrison that works here, that's me. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's for me. You sure it's not mine? Because I'll take it. Nope. This is a 1879 Stella, a $4 gold piece that was never issued to the public. The reason they call it a Stella, see the big star on the back? Yeah. Stella is Latin for star. Incredible coin. Why is it coming through the mail? Jeff, coin dealer I work with plenty of times. He just got it, and I might be buying it off him. Sometimes people can't make it in the shop for one reason or the other. But when it's something as cool as the Stella Gold piece, I really want to see it. Once I see it in person, the seller and I can strike a deal, or I'll send the item packing. So I need you to do the video chat with Jeff. Why don't you do it in your office? It doesn't work on my computer. I promise you it does. It doesn't work on the we computer downstairs. Computer. Just make it work, please. Just say you don't know how to do it. It wouldn't work right. You don't know how. It's irritating. Can you just get them on the thing? Here, you just press this. It's not that big of a deal. Jeff, how's it going? Doing good, doing good. So we got it. Uh, good, good. So where did you get this? I got that from a client, a person I've been dealing with for a while, and I've been looking for Estella for quite a while. And uh, when it came across my desk, I knew it was a coin you might like. So what's the story with this thing again? In the 1870s, the US Mint was trying to come up with a universal currency. They are going to try to get every country to make a gold coin with the same amount of metal in it. Yeah, it was an idea of trying to facilitate international trade. The Mint made these coins. They made a little over 400 of them. And they handed them out to members of Congress to see if they get their approval, yes or no, should they go forward with the project. They ended up voting no on it, but the congressmen got to keep the coin. Most of them brought them home, put them in a safe place. And to this day, they're like amazing condition because every one of these coins when they gave them out were like in proof condition. But this one actually has a little bit of wear. Yeah, but its condition adds to its desirability a little bit because any nicer condition, they start over $200,000. So for an extraordinarily rare coin, it's, I would say, quote, unquote, affordable. OK. So uh, how much you want for it? Uh, I'd like to get $100,000 for it. Would you take 90 grand for it? No, I couldn't do 90. 91? I could come down to 95,000. And that's, uh, you know, that's a great deal for a coin that's usually almost impossible to find below $100,000. I go 92? Yeah, I would, I would sell it to you at that. 92,000? Thanks so much for sending it to me. I got a check in the mail to you. OK, that, that sounds right. good, Rick. Thanks a lot. See you later, man. Take care, buddy. So you sure you don't like this hat? You know how insane it is doing business with you? You just spent $92,000. I know. It's it's all relative, son. You, OK, don't worry. I'll get it sold. Just leave me alone.